Welcome everyone to AGT on live at the beautiful Mount Panorama Racing Circuit. I am Sean Ghostmuller bringing you all the action this evening. Joining me in the box as always is a very good evening to the one and only Lucas, aka the Good Doctor. Good evening. Hey, yeah, mate. Oh, well, mate. How are you? I'm very well, mate. This is going to be a uh, awesome way to finish off the season, I think. Oh, can't wait. This is going to be epic. We are at Bathurst. We know the track. We love it. And what a way to finish off what has been a very successful and exciting AGT Online series. And let's not forget, we also have a championship to wrap up as well. Not just an AGT Online, but also the FYRC Porsche Super Cup. Both championships are coming down to the final race. So this should be a fast and furious night of action. I nearly lost myself there. But what we're going to do is, before we actually get right into it, we're going to have a look at our playground this evening. And I... We have something a little bit special, so enjoy. Here we are at a lap of the Mount Pamarana Racing Circuit. 6.2 kilometres as we just went through Hell Corner there. Now up Mountain Straight. Looking at building up speed of oh, probably up to 250 kilometres an hour. It's probably the only time on the track that you will get a rest besides going rock straight. Now we pop over the rise. Fifth gear. Now it's a sixth gear. Then we're going to go very hard on the brakes now. Deep into Griffith's bend. Back to third. Really control the exit now. Short shift into fourth. Try and minimise the wheel spin. Now up through the cutting. Really difficult part of the circuit this. Really important to get a nice clean exit. Really hug that inside wall. Now we pop it over the rise up towards under the tree which has been removed now through here this is fourth gear stuff really flat to the boards now down to the most exhilarating ride on the track through reed up through sulman now down into mcfillamy park what a ride this is 200 kilometers an hour flat out now we pop over brocky skyline you had to do the dance back down to third back down to second top it in through the dipper lovely exit through there now as we head down towards the elbow this is a really interesting part of the track you can make a passing opportunity there if you want to throw it up the inside now down the fastest straight in Australian motorsport Conrod straight building up speed again to over 260 270 kilometers an hour you will see a lot of slipstream in the race as well so it's really important to position the car perfectly now we're heading into the fastest corner of Australian Asian motorsport the chase this is flat out through there now set the braking marker up for the complex and we're going to go left and we're going to go right past bridges under the armor oil bridge another section here up to murray's where you can make another passing opportunity just break it nice and straight clip the apex now run it right out as far as you dare and that is a lap of the beautiful mount panorama racing circuit should provide plenty of action on sunday night What a fantastic race circuit this one is. 6.2 kilometres of the best tarmac in the world. Definitely in the top five race tracks in the world. You ask a lot of Australians, I'll probably put it number one. So we are not far away from qualifying. You know the drill. It's a 15 minute qualifying session for AGT Online. Then we will hop over to FYRC Porsche Super Cup for their 10 minute qualifying session, followed by a 20 minute race. And then we will have the main course, 40 minutes of AGT Online action. This is going to be epic. Just a quick update on the championship. It is Brocky who is currently leading away with a 107 point lead over Tarmac Terry. Basically, how it works out, if Terry does get pole, faster slap and the win, Brocky has to finish fifth or better. But one thing I, one thing I do know about racing though, it may... Not everything is locked in stone, as they say. Yeah, it can happen, especially here. Definitely. We all remember Newcastle 2017. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we are done. <laughs> These guys are out and about nicely fast. All right, let's head to the track now. So, a big welcome to all our viewers. We've got Chris, we've got Dee, we've got Jimbo, we've got Captain, we've got Clint, we've got Brocky, we've got Lockie, we've got Staniel. We got flat stick. Big welcome to everyone. We got D, Cos, we got Chris Rodriguez. Hope everyone is enjoying their Sunday night. Let's strap in because this should be a lot of fun. 
So first out on the track, he, well, last out on the track actually is V8 in the McLaren. Uh, one word to sum up his chances tonight. Uh, he is looking forward to the end of the race. Not a man of the McLaren, old mate, old mate Troy. Looking here at DJ Brain for Deep Brothers. Now, DJ in practice has been setting some very quick times. Looks like the local legends DBR Aston is definitely hooked up, which is great to see. We've got Slide and Scotty running a beautiful livery uh, there as well. They're running for the last round. That's, of course, a throwback to the Corvette Racing Yellow. Looks fantastic. And a little uh, shout out to Scotty as well. He lost his uh, longtime best friend, his uh, little dog there. Uh, during the week, so big condolences to Scotty and Zoe. We've got our championship leader on the cyborg for CP Racing. Really interesting. And look who's behind him, Tarback Terry. The games have started already. Oh, this is going to be good. Spicy meatball stuff. We've got Ricky Bobby there for Century Phoenix. Now, I like this idea from Ricky Bobby here. Sit behind. Yeah, oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, I love this. Got his old, got old mate Dick. Now yeah, Dick, I believe he's feeling a little under the weather today. Classic Dick. <laughs> we got Wardo for TMR Toyota Racing. Another one who has seen the sub two minutes. So looking forward to see what Wardo's got for us. Next we got the Bathurst Specialist. That is a Gaz Big Balls in the Frontier Audi. This guy always saves his best for Bathurst. Next up, we got his teammate Hijacker. These two look like they're going to work together and qualify, which is great to see. Then we got Knuckles for Toro, Lucky Zonkey Racing. We got Mighty Mo, second of the TMR Toyota drivers. We got we got Zeus for Trofeo. Lucky to make it into qualifying. I'm glad he has so because this this will add a little bit of an X factor, I think. And we got his teammate, of course, the Blitz in the second of the Trofeo Lamborghinis. So we're gonna keep an eye on DJ here because he is first on the road at the moment, so we'll get our first indicative time. Early thoughts there, Lucas? Oh, it's hard to look past Terry. He's, uh, he's, got, he's got another gear when it comes to uh, intense situations, so. The GDR's pretty good, but we were watching him practice. It was a nice and steady across the top of the mountain. Got near gut to them. Right now, DJ, now he's going to fling it into the fastest corner in Australia Motorsport, the chase. And break it very hard for the complex. Of course, all our drivers staying at the ridges there. Now under the Armour Old Bridge. Nice apex there. Ooh, a little skated there on the exit of Murray's, but gathers it up. We'll get our first time. What is it? Oh, and suit. Oh, wow. Scotty with, oh, Terry with a 159.369. Straight out of the bat. What a lap. I'll tell you what, Scotty is second. Wow. 159 on a full tank. That's a great lap by Scotty. Ricky Bobby starts in the third. Fantastic lap. Well done. He has got a little bit of traffic issues here though with DJ. Look at our current provisional pole setup. So where's Brocky in all this? He, he went into the pits on the first ah, lap. Ah, interesting. Lap. Him so, and, the, and the two Trafaya boys, they haven't put a lap in yet. Okay, so the early mind game's early. I like this though. We'll just keep an eye on Tarmac here. Flies it now through Reed down into McPhillamy. Now, if you want something special, we'll jump on board. Watch this guy down the mountain. He is like a surgeon's scalpel. Couple of notables there. Knuckles here in fifth position. That's a nice qualifier by Knuckles. He'd be. Lexus has been a bit of a car car to handle for the Lucky Zone Care boys. I feel it just lacks a little bit of outright speed. One thing we do know about the Lexus, so it's really great on fuel economy. 
Check out the two Hyundais. That's fantastic. Look at this. Now, this is teamwork. <laughs> this is teamwork. Go to the slipstream and then zips past. Third position, help me up. Sixth position, but oh, third goes too deep. Ricky Bobby's off. Oh, big oh, the oh boy. He's right off. All, all the leaders are in the bits. Okay, okay, this is very interesting here. So, a couple of different strategies playing out on how to attack qualifying. From Cyborg. Goes to P2. P2 with a 59.8. That's a nice lap by there, Cyborg. But look at that. Terry's still 0.4 to the good. Wow. That's Wardo some... goes to a two minute flat then. He's, here comes Wardo. He's now P5. Nice work there, by Wardo. Of course, we have a team's championship to play out as well. Currently led by Revolution Satellite. That's tight to the team's championship. It's five teams with a shot of getting the getting yep. the honors at the end of the season. Yep, there are five teams basically within 250 points of each other. So a lot to play out here. Now, the thing is also that Frontier and Blacklight have two shots in the gun tonight. Where the CP boys and also the Revolution boys will have to wait till next week. Let's see, sets the time for 2 minute 1806. That puts him in the tent. Gas balls at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Oh, that was really loose one across the top. Whoa, it looks skatey, the Alexis there. Here's Scotty currently in third position. This is one we did not expect. He's been getting better and better as the season progresses. 100%. Oh, of course, a former Super 2 champ. Only the best of the best come from there. on his outlap at the moment. We'll just go back to Terry. Terry's on his outlap. And the cyborg here, does he go quicker? No. no, he doesn't. So if Scotty can find something, he might be able to jump the cyborg. And that is a big turn up for the books if that happens. I'll tell you what, big shout out to Ricky Bobby here, currently in fourth position. Yeah, so it's just been on the door of a 59. He's in the two minute point zero six three. The Hyundai's come really good towards the end of the season. Can't believe what sort of had a bit of a chuckle about in the pre-season earlier on. It'd be nice to drive, I reckon, across the top. Ricky Bobby and, and old mate Dick have really uh, showed us that it's a, it's a very competent little package. So I'm currently looking here at Zeus at the moment. He's back in the pits. So this is a real... He's going to leave it all for one lap. Wow, that's Which brave. Is it again as well. That's very brave. <laughs> DJ currently in sixth position, the local legend's DBR. He's actually watching his car a lot in practice earlier today, and it just looked really smooth. As I say that, it steps out sideways out of the elbow. <laughs> Thanks, DJ. <laughs> Look at the gap there between Wardo, DJ and Knuckles. There is nothing in that. Wow. A big swing in the middle of the field there, so it picks up a little bit of time. It's come through the chase complex now. Just so under five again. minutes. Under five minutes remaining. Everyone's in. So everyone now, this will be it. Terry goes, Terry goes again. quicker. A 59-3. That is crazy Still fast. Tricky probably got left on the table. Not much. Not going to do it. Oh, he's up as well. Another purple sector here for Terry. We jump on board the Revolution Satellite Racer. 
Line improves again. 21, uh, 2017 there, so that's 10th position for Mo. Terry now fires it out of the cutting, heading towards under the tree that's not there anymore. Oh, oh. Down towards right the dirty grate. The look at that, look at the commitment through under the grate there. Yeah, through McFillamy, look at this, this is maximum attack. Clocks it over at Bronky Skyline now. Wow. Oh, he's point two up. He's flying. Could we see a 58? Oh, it just oh, scrapes the wall. wall. Down into the elbow now. Does he get the nose in? He does. Beautiful. Lovely through there. Now can unleash the GTR two. down Conrad straight. It was off and on there. The GTR is really planted on the throttle there. Pops it over the rise now, down into the chase. Oh, he's lost a bit of time there. That's hurt him, that graze of the wall. Gets it through the chase complex very nicely. And he's brought it in. Oh, not happy with that. Okay, look at him. Looking back now at the cyborg about to start his flying lap. with a 107 point championship lead. Does he play it a little conservative? Of course, he only has to finish fifth or better to wrap this title up, which will be his third title. Wardo! Wow, with a 159.842, that's a stunning lap. Buckles follows him through there with a 2 minute point zero five four to go to position number five. He jumped Ricky Bobby there as well. This is classic water he, This is what he does. He'll just sneak up on you and he's going quicker again. Of course we do know the super is an absolute rocket ship down down Conrod Strait, so if he's close enough to the two to Terry and Brocky at the start, I tell you what, she could be on. Oh, look at him through Cyborg's there. Cyborg's purple through sector two. Oh, here we go. Point zero nine. Oh, he scrapes the wall slightly there at the depot. Will that cost him time? Jumping on board now. Heading into the elbow. Gets the nose tucked in. Hard on the gas now. Oh, Wardo's up through sector two as well. Oh, this is huge. So he unleashes the AMG V8 down Conrad straight. He's still purple! Oh, this is a big number! Does he get a turn for the... He does, look at that. Oh, right in on the slide as well! Catches a bit of grass, shouldn't cost him too much time. Just got Murray's to go, just got to get a break in a nice straight line. Clip the apex. Oh, he's a little wide! Does this put him to the top? Yes, it does with a 59.279. What a lap from Brocky. Oh, there's no conservatism here. He has come to race. Gasball's now drops in a 2 minute 748, which is good enough for 8th position. Really? All right, back. <laughs> back to tarmac now. This will be it for most of them, though. Yep, this is it. Knuckles has called it. Ricky Bobby is probably going to win the last this round. What's Tarmac got? Has he got a clutch lap in him? Down into the grate. You can hear he's virtually pretty much full throttle through here. Slight lift just to get the nose in. Now he pops it over Skyline. Oh, he's point two down. That could be it. He's got behind Zeus at the moment. He's currently position number 14. Wow. This is 
a big turn up. This is something we definitely did not expect. This will be a solid lap though. It's going to be a pretty, this is going to be a good lap. Can he get the Trofeo Lamborghini up there? He left it very late. What's he got? Two, Ooh, two only tenth. Definitely didn't expect that. All right, tie back now. This will be his last lap. He was 0.2 down as they come over Skyline. I don't think he can make that up. That's a lot of time to make up. He does! Oh, with a 58.9! Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous! Wowee! What a number! Oh, Terry! That is unbelievably crazy good. So that's a 0.5 of a second swing between How? Sector 2 and the finish line. How has he done that? That is nuts! What the hell? Wow. There was speculation of a 50, low 59, but he's pulled out a 158.983. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a typo. What a lap. Incredible. Brocky in second. Wardell finished third. Big shout out to Scotty in fourth. Knuckles in fifth. Ricky Bobby in sixth. DJ in seventh. Eighth is Gasballs. Ninth is Mo and tenth is Deck with Zeus in eleventh, which is a real turn up. Hijacker in twelfth as well. Blitz in thirteenth. So this is a couple of surprising results there. But back to our <laughs> what a laugh! <laughs> wow, a fifty-eight nine. The last <laughs> round he said. <laughs> the last round we did see one of the most special laps. In AJT history, oh, I think that's trumped it. What a lap, yeah. right at the end. Holy moly. For him to be down by that much through sector two and then to end up point, nearly 0.3 of a second up on the field is just unreal. That is incredible. What a lap, what a qualifying performance. Wow. Wow, chat has blown up. Scooter would like to know what's powering that GTR. Uh, Lockie would like to know what hacks he's running. <laughs> wow, wait. That sets up an absolutely amazing... Cannot wait for this race now. What a qualifying session. I mean, seeing 59s is pretty special, but a 58, that's next level. He's definitely going to lay it all on the line, I feel. He's got nothing to lose, really, so why not? <laughs> D, burn it with the M4s. <laughs> Oh, stick around, ladies and gentlemen, because that really, if, that, if that's the bread and water, we're about to go to the entree, which is the FYRC Porsche Super Cup, and then we'll get to the main course. But that has set up a fantastic night's action of racing. That's proper not English, but I don't care. I'm excited. All right, so we have now entered the FYRC Porsche Super Cup room. These guys have been qualifying underway very quickly. So a little update of that championship there at the moment. It's currently Dan the Man who basically, if Clint wins, gets pole and the fastest lap, Dan only has to finish eighth or better to wrap up this championship. It really, the ball is in his court. But it is Bathurst and anything can happen, so... It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out as well. So we are just waiting on a call up at the moment. We won't be too far away, so we can... Uh, more than happy to read some questions out there in chat or... So what do we got there? Buffer smells a DGR powered motor. <laughs> Uh, Scooter thinks there's a satin five rocket out of the bonnet. 
Excalibur has fired out the big donk for the day. Yeah, 100%. There. He's got a bit of stroke each in that off here. So, FYRC Porsche Super Decent uh, provided some absolute amazing racing. Really high quality action. Some of the best door-to-door -door racing you will see. The last round, especially Group B, that was some of the best racing I've ever called. Three wide in some spots. No paint. Be absolutely right up there. Bathurst always produces something a little bit special. Now, these guys only have a 10-minute qualifying session, so that early banker is going to be absolutely vital. And, of course, with a championship on the line, there are two drivers in touch with that championship but I can tell you right now there are 12 other drivers who do not give a flying rats about it they are only worried about one thing finishing the season off strong and maybe securing a drive for next season as well <laughs> Excalibur <bloody. laughs> all right so we are about to get qualifying underway this is Group A FYRC Porsche Super Cup. If you like close, intense one make racing, this is the series to watch. Evening, we've got good old wide hips for Blokes Advice Obsession. We've got Shainsky for Switchblade. Been really impressed with Shainsky's season. He's done very well. He's always been on the improve, always looking to get better as well. Of course, with the fabulous sponsor of PVS on the side. We've got Shiza. This guy's pretty much one of my most improved in the CP Racing Porsche with Complete Angler Bentley. We've got Black Dynamite for Ragged Edge Racing. We've got Clinty Gogo currently second in the championship for Ronan DBR. We've got Glazer for Revolution Satellite with LTK Carpentry on board for the season. Big thank you to all our sponsors as well. We've got Jan Moore for Logitech GL to Esports. We've got the good mod for Revolution Satellite. So they've got two bullets in the gun tonight with SCK on board. We've got Kua Pro for FYRC Jandal. Now this is interesting. We've got Kua Pro and Pruski in the same race. We know that rivalry goes back a long way. Our late call up this evening is the second of the Logitech GL to C Sports cars. It's VF. We've got one of the Frontier Runners with Ellen Towing. This is a Popsy. Second of the FYRC agenda runners is Luminous. We've got our championship leader, Dan the Man. Second, the CP Racing Porsches. And for Aussie Hampton Powerhouse, we got Cruzen, who is a definite X Factor tonight. I know he's been putting in quite a bit of practice. So Shane Scooby, the first to lead him on their fast laps. Jump on board now. Heading up towards the cutting. Oh, he's a little wide there. That's a big wide. That's going to cost a lot of time. Oh, look at this. This is stuff you don't want in qualifying, especially with an only 10 minute session. This is Black Dynamite and Clinty getting into it. Like in Dan's approach here, this is what he's done a lot of the season. He gets himself out of traffic. Does put a little bit more pressure on himself, but what it does do is gives him a whole 6.2 kilometers of racetrack to really attack this lap. So what, what can Clint do here? He really needs pole position. If he 
doesn't get pole position here, I feel this championship may be over. He flings it now down towards the chase. through the complex. Down into Murray's now. Nice exit. Shainsky sets quick time. 202291. It's clean do. Not as quick. Only a 203059. That's quite surprising. Oh Prusky up to second now with a 202863. That's a great lap from old Guy Hips. Oh, look at that. Jan will now pops it in the second position with a 202819. Fantastic lap. So Shamsky, though, with a clear advantage. Half a second to the good, but the gaps between second, third, and fourth are very close. A good bond now. Up there in the fourth. Great job, it's great to see the good one up there. A lot of these guys do save their best for Bathurst. Alright, so our championship leader now starting his flyer. So, here comes Cruzen. What does Cruzen do? Does he go to the top? He does with a 201174. That's a stonking lap. Oh wow, that's a huge lap there from Cruzen. That's going to take some beating. So what's Dan got now? Has Dan got anything for that 201174? Wow, wait. So a lot of the other guys I think will be coming in now. On board the CP racing machine. Down into the grate. McFillan, you're getting it just a slight lift, but it's pretty much flat through here. He plunges it down the mountain. Really smooth, Danny. Look how smooth he is. Very precise. It's a real thinking man's racer as well. Nice turn in at the elbow. Gets a nice drive out of there as well. It over the rise down into the chase. This is flat the whole way. We'll break at the 150 meter board, if not a bit later. Stands on the middle pedal. Shiza now with a 202614. Puts him in the third position. Just got Murray's to go now, Dan. What's he got? Is it going to go quicker? Oh, in the second, still 0.7 off. So that time by Cruzen is at a magnificent time. I'll call it now. I don't think anyone's beaten that. That's an amazing time. Shades. Oh, Shades, he's had a huge moment of McPhillamy. Oh, that's going to hurt. He's got to wait now for all the traffic to go past. We've got a Shades here, down on his best lap, 0.1. Can he find some time now? For me though, this is the big story. So currently second in the championship is in eighth position, 1.8 seconds off. And with two minutes remaining in qualifying, this is it. This is going to have to be a clutch lap here. He can't afford to start in the middle of the soup. Just cannot afford it. He's got to get that thing up the front. Back dynamite there in 12th. Another surprising result there as well. So there's a couple of real shocks at the moment. We'll just check on this lap though. This might improve. Does right up to second position at 201. 
897. Great lap there from Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite, of course, set our hot lap during the week. You saw that. So that's put Dan the man now in third position. Oh, I see purple though. Here we go. Can he get it in? Can he get this thing on pole? Oh, in the second position, point one off cruising there. All right, back to Clint now. Currently in ninth position. On board the Ronan DBR machine, slight scrape of the wall with the tree. Now down into the grate. How aggressive does he want to be? He's really going to lay it all on the line here. Don't like the term win it or bid it, but kind of has to be. Oh, he's the second up on his time. Here he comes. Nice through the dipper. Oh, slight misgear there. Looks a little skippy across down into the elbow there. Didn't look at the front end, had any wheels on the ground, so it really struggled to turn in. Is it got a little bit of a slipstream here? This might help him. Oh, they're gonna go side by side on the chase. Wow! That's heart and the mouth stuff, especially in qualifying, and this, especially on a lap like this. Can he move the DBR machine up the grid? Up the third, good clutch lap. Needed that. Back to cruising now. He's got pole wrapped up. This is a bit of a party hour lap. Can he put some real distance between him and Dan? Just to flex his muscle to show he's ready. He's down. This might not be it. He will claim pole position with a 201174. And that's it. That's qualifying. Run right and done. Oh, Dan! Right at the end! He's done it with a 2 minute 918! Oh, what a lap! Oh, Dan the man, you're a star. That is why he's the championship leader. What a lap from Dan. Unreal. First one in the two minutes. Oh, dare I say, that was Terry-esque. What a lap. That is a massive clutch lap. That's an extra... 10 points? 5 points? I think it's 10 points for pole position. That's going to help. That's really put the pressure on Clint now. He's going to need, I'm going to say, he's going to need a bit of a minor miracle here. What a lap. And that is qualifying, run and done. Dan the man will start from pole. I believe that is his third pole in a row. He has been on fire during qualifying. Of FYRC, Porsche Super Cup Group A. What a season it's been. Championship on the line. Mathematically, it's still possible, but it's pretty much done. But there's plenty of pride. So Cruz is on pole. I'm a little confused here what's going on, but that's all right. We'll just let it play out. Here we go. Pressure rising. 20 minutes around the mountain. Flat six is rising. Racing! Looks like everyone's got off to a fantastic start now as they head down in towards Hell Corner. Ah, oh, Cruiser gets a nice, just sweeps across beautifully. Nice early start there from Cruiser. Everyone looks like they've got through Hell Corner cleanly, so that's great to see. And he got towards Griffin Spend now. Oh, who's that on the inside? Oh, Clint's just thrown it up the inside. Oh, he's not mucking around. Oh, Dan, he's going to lose a few positions. He's down to sixth position. Oh, early championship drama. This is huge. So Dan now back down to six. Clint's up to second. Dan now has got to get his eyes forward. He's got to get into the groove now.
back up the front now, cruising 1.2 seconds to the good. He's he's gone. He's flying. Clinton second. Third is Black Dynamite. Fourth is Shainsky. Dan now. He's got himself back up to fifth position. Look at the witness marks though. This is not the start he wanted. This is eyes forward now. On board with the good mod now as we head down Conrod Strait. Gonna go for a move here on Bruski. He's he's a big doors open. He's gonna go for it. There's a touch. Oh, he's gone. Good has gone. Good is gone. That's a huge accident. Let's check that out on our Pirelli replay. So as they come down into the chase, this is at 260, 270 kilometers an hour. They're standing on the brakes. Slight lock up there. Oh dear. Here we early drama in FYRC Porsche Super Cup. That's dropped him back to 12th position. Back up the front now, Clint's tacked onto the back of cruising. It's now down to point three. Throws it in. Clint's got to get past cruising here. He cannot afford to play the conservative game. But of course, cruising around this place is a very hard man to beat. So Clint's going to have to pull out all the tricks he knows. This suit just slightly skipped away there as Black Dynamite kisses the ball under the tree. Back him with that championship leader now. He's got Shainsky in front of him. Shines is back down to 14, so he's had a huge moment as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Popsy there and eighth. Nice job there by Popsy. Keep himself out of trouble. Oh, as I say that, he just kisses the wall at the S's. Back up the front now. Clint's, I think Clint's had a slight moment there because Black Dynamite is all over him here. Building up speed. Is Black Dynamite going to have a look? Big look, no, just shows the nose, thinks better of it. So these three have definitely skipped away. Back down to fourth, fifth, and sixth now. Nice battle developing here. Tell you what, General in sixth position is another guy who's really improved out of sight. Five guys in front of him are no joke. So for him to be keeping up with these guys is a real testament to his improvement throughout the season. And then we've got a really quite a substantial gap back to Bruski there in seventh. Popsy in eighth. Well, actually, Popsy's having a real look here. Popsy's keen. Popsy's very keen. He's going to have a look at Griffith's Ben. They're going to go side by side. There's another touch. Oh, Bruski's into the wall. Oh well, we'll check that out on our Pirelli replay. On board with Pruski here. Jan, oh, Popsy throws a straight the inside. Oh, don't, that looks play on for mine. We do know old right hips, he'll be, we will have the target on him now. Because Luka is coming behind him, Kua Pro is coming. This is, this is like UFC 250. This is battle 250 between these two. Back him in their leaders now, cruising. Point eight to the good black dynamite. He's still riding the toe there of, oh, huge moment. Dan's dropped back down to six. What's happened now? Let's see if we can catch it on a Pirelli replay. So he's had a moment coming out of the dipper. Oh, is the championship pressure getting to him? He's just got to settle in now. 
Six position is still good enough. Just got to refocus. Get into his rhythm. Don't get too flustered. Of course, you have the calculator going in his head. Just thinking, what do I need to do? Where do I need to be? Back up the front now. These three are really putting on the show here. They're trading blows. Clint Case currently has the fastest up with a 201.7111. Oh, he's a little wide there. Griffiths, that's all right though. Didn't lose too much time. Heading up now towards the tree. Oh, a slight scrape of the wall there from Black Dynamite. That's the third time he's done that. Oh, jeez. You can just see the front end of the Porsche gets really light. It's a classic Porsche trait. Oh, Clint's right out sideways there at McPhillamy. This is a great battle so far. Interesting to see. Oh, Clint's had a huge moment at the elbow. Does that give Black Dynamite a real big sniff here? On board the Ragged Edge Racer now. He's in the tow. Does he have a look at the chase? Just seems to be lacking a little bit of top end there as Clint goes extremely deep. Wow. Last of the late break is there. So we are going to check our fuel and tyre numbers now. So look at there, cruising just a tad over a quarter of a tank as he gets right out sideways. Holds on to it though. Tyres are getting a little second hand. Clint, virtually the same. I'll tell you what though, look at Black Dynamite's tyres. He's done a beautiful job with those. Shainsky, just on quarter of a tank. General, nice fuel save and tyre use. Same as Dan the man here, so it's still a little bit to play out at the moment. Popsy. Oh, Bruski's had a moment. Bruski's had a big moment. He's back down to 10th. What has happened there? We missed that, but he's back down to 10th position now. He's got Glazer right behind him and Shizer right behind him as well. So Kiro Pro now has jumped himself out to 8th position. That's a nice job. He's got the good mod behind him for company. So nice recovery there from the good mod after that huge lap one incident. Back up the front though, this is where the real battle is. These three are putting on a fantastic show. This is high pressure at the moment. Oh, again, he's just so skatey out of there. Ball with the Aussie Hampton powerhouse machine. Pulls a lot of time at the elbow. He's so smooth out of the elbow. Gets beautiful traction. But Clint's right in the toe now. He's flashing the lights as well. This is maximum intimidation. Is Clint going to go for it at the chase? This is a 260. Oh, the slight touch there. Cruiser just had enough car positioning skill there just to not allow a gap. He's going to go defensive again. That's going to put Clint on the outside now. He's head down into a... Clint's in. Look at this. They're fighting all the way to the pit lane. Oh, these two are not giving an inch here. Let's look at fuel save numbers. Oh, Clint's got Cruz in here. This could be huge. Black Dynamite's in. So this is a straight fight in the pits now. The Aussie Powerhampton crew go to work. Who can get a quicker death than the man? Wow. What a few save from Dan there, so that'll make him up a bit of time. Okay, pit crew's done. It's a race out of the pit lane. Clint's got him. Clint's jumped him. That's huge. Massive. Great job there by the DBR crew. So now Clint's in the lead. Cruz in second. Black Dynamite in third. Dan the man's now in seventh. Oh, what's happened here? 
So a couple may not have pitted, but this is huge for Dan. He does not want to get stuck in a fight up, which is happening ahead of him. Look at this stuff up here. Dan just want to, wants to avoid this at all costs. Oh, Shades, he's right the side of Popsy. Oh, there's been huge drama. Oh, Dan now has caught him out the outside of Popsy. Gets past cleanly. Oh, there's still eight minutes remaining. FYRC Porsche Super Cup, you never fail to disappoint. Let's have a look what happened here. So, Shainsy caught the inside of the ripple strip, which just fired Popsy into the fence. Oh, there might be some fallout from that. I'm bored with Dan now. Currently sixth position. This is enough for the championship. He's just got to keep it smooth now. He doesn't really need to risk any big overtaking maneuvers. Just bring it home. Back up the front, cleats 1.3 to the good. He's flying here. He's doing everything he can. What's Cruising got for him? Cruising's gonna have to find something pretty special here. That little bit of fuel saving there from Clint really paid dividends as Cruising's right out sideways out of the chase. Gathers it up, nice little bit of car control. Black Dynamite, very nice race so far. He's keeping in touch with two very big heavy hitters. That's a bit unfair actually on Black Dynamite. He's a heavy hitter himself. Seven minutes remaining. These two are going at it. Clint's pulling away here. Black Dynamite, look, he's having a look here. He's having a look. Thinks better of it. Taps back in. He looks racy though. He wants to get past. Oh, here we go. Back into this battle. This is what Dan doesn't want. Dan can't afford this. He does not need to get caught in other people's drama. does have 12 seconds over the good one though. So that, that's a little thing in the back of his mind. He'll be just thinking, okay, I know what I have to do here. I know my numbers. This is where it gets really nerve wracking. Speaking of experience, when you've got a championship on the line you, and you know you're close to that bubble of maybe losing, you've just got to really take a big deep breath. Look at Jam all in front of me, he's right out sideways. the elbow now. The way that car is looking in front of you, if I'm, you know, I, I did say don't take a risk, but I feel it may be more risky sitting behind him here. Oh, Black Dino, it's got in front of Cruising. What's happened to Cruising? He's had a massive moment. He's two seconds behind. Oh, dear, oh dear. Let's see if we can, we might not be able to catch that. Yeah, no, we can't. Cruising's had a massive moment. Back down to third position now. You can see the witness marks at the back end of the Aussie Hampton Porsche. Definitely no fuel saving going on there. Sutton, he's had a massive moment. No doubt about it. Where it's at though, Jan. Look at these two cars. I've seen better looking cars that are broad meadows wreckers. More witness marks than the OJ Simpson trial, that's for sure. Look at Dan, he's just sitting in behind you. I think he's decided, you know what? I'm gonna put the cue on the rack. I'm just gonna bring it home. Shainsky now for Switchblade. We've got Jan on right behind him. Jan looks racy. He definitely wants to get past here. Oh, Shainsky! Right out 
going sideways out of the dipper. How did he hold on to that? Good one there in seventh. Eighth is Kua Pro. Ninth is Popsy. Tenth is Shizer. He's got Prusky for company. Laser in twelfth. Thirteenth is VF and Luminous in fourteenth. That's a real surprise. So he's look at that car. That looks banged up as well. So there's definitely been some moments that we haven't caught. Back up the front now. Clean two point four seconds to the good. This is the battle though. You just see Dan just backed it off. I feel him right here. I feel like he's just backed it off. He just wants to bring it home now. Three minutes remaining, so we'll get this will be their second lap for an ultimate lap. Oh, back at look at that. General's having a look here. On board. With the Logitech G Altus Racer. Side by side with the Switchblade Racers. They go up Mountain Straight. Who's later on the brakes? Is he going to pull a Craig Lowndes? Oh, he's gone! Jam was gone! Oh, he's hit Dan! Oh, that's massive drama! That could be championship changing! Oh, no! Look at this! Massive drama! Can Dan get it going? He's got to get that car going! He does! But it will have massive damage! He's only got 2 minutes 20 to hold on! What can he do here? He's just got to keep calm. Oh, he'll be sweating bullets. Oh, he won't need a change of underwear. He'll need a whole race suit. And probably a very cold bath. In fifth position, though, that's okay for him. He got out of that. That could have been a lot worse. Oh, I reckon his heart would have skipped about 5,000 beats there. He's aged 50 years in one day. Back up the front, Clint, 1.4 seconds of good, totally oblivious what's going on in the background. That could have been championship changing right there. Good thing for Dan now, he's in clear air. He's got one more lap to bring it home. Just got to bring it home. Take a deep breath. 6.2 kilometers to go till he claims his first championship. Back up the front. What a race. So it's been by Clint. He has tried everything he can. He has done everything he can to try and win this championship. He will finish second in the championship, which is a fantastic result. Run it with a great prick strategy, super aggressive on the start as well, just threw it straight up the inside. Really has been a class performance. Second Black Dynamite, great race from Black Dynamite, one of his best. I think he'll take a second, he'd be very happy with that. Cruising in third, he'd probably be thinking what could have been. Definitely had the pace to win this thing. Shane Skin fourth, another solid drive from Shane Skin. He's been on the improve all season and it's just testament to him. If you're looking for an FYRC Porsche Super Cup driver, this guy's your man. Clint now just gets through the chase. What a drive it has been from the Ronan DBR driver. Flawless performance. And he will take the final round victory in FYRC Porsche Super Cup A. Great drive. Second will be Black Dynamite. Third will be Cruising. Fourth will be Shainsky. Great drive, Shainsky. 
but your season one FYRC Porsche Super Cup champ from CP Racing is Dan the man. What a drive, what a season, congratulations. Jan Moore will finish his sixth, good morning seventh and eighth will be Kua Pro. But back to our champ, what a season it has been. Started off a little bit slow, but the last four rounds, he has just been untouchable. Did it the hard way today, but he is the champion. Massive congratulations from everyone, Dan the Man, very thoroughly deserved. And I've just been told the after party will be at CP Racing Headquarters, so everyone head on over. Oh, they do have an unlimited bar tap, so hook in, guys. Well done, Dan. What a drive. What a season. This guy's a serious operator. What a fantastic race to end Group A FYRC Porsche Super Cup. Huge congratulations. Does go to Clinty Go Go. Great way to finish the season. Recapping our race results there Clinty Go Go in first position. Second position was Black Dynamite. Third was Cruising. Fourth was Shansky. Fifth was Dan the Man. And your Season 1 FYRC Porsche Super Cup champion. Sixth is Janwell. Seventh is the Goodmond. 8th is Kua Pro, 9th is Popsy, 10th is Shiza, 11th is Prusky, 12th is Glazer, 13th was Luminous, 14th was VF. The fastest lap did go to Black Dynamite with a 201.297 on lap 8. That is FYRC Porsche Super Cup Group A, Season 1, Run and Done. Wow, we. Wow, that was incredible. So huge congratulations comes from Prusky, Doremus, Josh Locke, Jason, Tony, Scotty, Melissa Norris. Ooh, is that the partner? If it is, congratulations on the championship. Dan the man, was great watching you all season. All sister, not going to... Assume. Uh, Captain, well done all. I enjoy watching the Porsches. Gives you, it gives you all the chance. Something I've been missing all season. Come on, Captain. One more race to go, mate. Let's let's not go there. Then you can throw it off the top of the mountain. Uh, congratulations to all the podium from Excalibur. Uh, Mr. Brett, gee whiz, that race was intense. Uh, you're telling me, mate. So we will welcome back in Lucas. Are you there, good buddy? Hey, you buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a race that was. Yeah, I caught a little bit of that one. It's mm. uh, That's the hardest way to win the championship. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do it the easy way, that's for sure. <laughs> what that does set up, that was a fantastic AGT online race. Uh, Dan's cousin. Uh, very good. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate that. What a race, though. That, that had everything. Really great racing. Classic Porsche Super Cup, really. It's been like that all season. The guys have really put on a great show. All righty. Let's get into it. So we won't be far away from AGT Online. Their final race around the mountain. Another championship on the line. And if the test starts ringing to go by, it's going to be very intense. Of course, those new viewers watching on YouTube, if you could just smash that like button, hit the, hit the subscribe button. It's very much appreciated here at everyone at AGT Online. Uh, also, I'll throw up a link to our Facebook page and Discord channel. Jump on board and jump in for some fast and furious action. All right, guys. Guys in chat, you know the drill. I want podiums, please. And I want... Do we get some lap one drama? 
Uh, Captain says carnage turn one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Cap. Are you racing next week? Uh, Scooter, does the field breeze shuffle for next season? There will be a slight shuffle there, Scooter. We will bring you uh, a bit more of those details probably next week and over the off season. Uh, Zoe, done and done. Thank you, Zoe. Really appreciate it. So this will be interesting. Who's your pick here, Lucas? Uh, the cyborg. Oh, I like yeah, it. I'm, put, I'm putting my money in the cyborg. I'm putting my money on Wardo here. I don't know. I've just got very strong. It's Keep an eye on Scotty though, out of uh, out of row two as well. He was very quick in the test starts. He's been uh, hassling the back of the CP Mercedes. He actually passed him on the one into the chase in one of the test starts in a very, very convincing move. Of course, just to get, give you the championship scenario here, Brocky needs to finish fifth or better to wrap this up if Terry wins. Harry CBR, I love that name. It's Brocky for the win. Zoe says, Terry, Brocky, Scotty, no particular order. <laughs> I'm sure I know he'd like to see on that top step. <laughs> Get on him, get on Scotty, he's looking good. Sliding Scotty. He's, uh, he's been getting better and better this season, so I'm excited to see how he goes tonight. Bristol Brent says Terry, Brocky and Scotty top three. Wardo and Ricky Bobby to have a slobber knocker of a battle and DJ to be a dark horse. Ooh, I like that. Captain, Troy for 14th. <laughs> and I'll most likely be unavailable next Sunday night. <laughs> uh, Jeremy says Gaz will come up here. Yes, couldn't agree with that more there, Jeremy. Uh, Gaz is a bit of a specialist around his joint. So for those new viewers that are new to AGT Online, we do have a rolling start. Uh, Terry will take control of the field. They'll go side by side, must pass through their grid boxes, and once they start the cross the start finish line, they can drop the hammer. Gary says Terry, Wardo and Brocky. Ooh, I like that podium. That's a nice podium. All right, here we go. Strap in the final round for AGT Online Group A. What a season it's been. Our two absolute heaviest hitters up the front. That's what we want. Wardo and Scotty slot in the second row. Look at Terry's already looking across here at Rocky. The gamesmanship's already started. Perfect start from the guys. We're this is go very good. Fellas. We are green. We are racing for the final time this season. As Terry will lead him into Hell Corner. Does everyone get through nice and cleanly? It looks like, oh, Ter Terry slightly sideways, but gathers it up. Look at Scotty, he's looking Scotty. racy here. here he Scotty's comes. looking really racy here. They're side by side. side. <laughs> oh, this is huge. Is Check he gonna out. overtake Brock? Is he gonna do a lousy? Surely not, not this early. He's gonna hang it out there. He's gonna hang it out there. Oh, he gathers it back up. Oh, oh sli classic Scotty there, sliding. That's what we love to see. Oh, he's still in the side of the cutty. Oh, Brocky <laughs> just covers that off. Oh, wowee. On board the Switchblade Corvette now. There's a the reason we call him. Look at this. Now. Look at this already. Benchmark operators going hammer and tongue at each other. So come over Skyline now. Down into the dipper. Oh, Terry's a little wide there. That's going to give Brocky half a sniff. Look at Wardo back and forth just going. Him. Yep, I've seen all this before and I normally know what happens. <laughs> Terry touches the wall next to the elbow there. He's going to give the sidewalk a run down the straight here. Look at this. Here we go. Look it's at the game. Look at the weaving here, look at it. Oh wow. Look at Warno, look at the super in the top speed. Oh look at this, it's a rocket ship this thing. He's not even revving it out either, he is. He's already on the fuel save. He's thinking big picture here, Wardo. What a first lap from these guys. Clean as a whistle. Fantastic racing. Tell you what, Ricky Bobby there, currently in fifth position, doing a fantastic job holding on here. He's sticking over the leaders in. 
by the boy. Look who's up the seventh. Gaz, here he comes. And he's got yep, Zeus excellent. in behind him as well. For me, these two are the two to watch. Scotty still on to the leaders. Oh, Terry. Oh, oh Scotty. Boys. Oh, he hold on to that. How did he hold on to that? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Pirelli replay. Wow. Coming out of Griffith's bed right out sideways. How did he not fly that into the fence? Oh, that is some impressive car control. He's right back into it too. He's on him again. This fella's found another gear this season. Very, it was, it was a, a fairly late call up into Group A for Scotty too, if I remember. Yeah, it was. Since he's got here, he's, uh, he's, he's definitely home. made himself at home. And I tell you what, he's a one man highlight reel. This guy has a very, very, uh, to quote Mark Scaife, a very, very enthusiastic style. And to keep up, sure. I'll tell you what, and look who he's keeping up with. Exactly. Two of the fastest guys we've ever seen. And Scotty is definitely not overawed by the experience. He's going for it. He doesn't care about if their names are Rocky or Terry. DJ Braden, Ricky Bobby, Richie Withers. Oh, he's going to go oh, wide into Mo there. Yeah. He's run Mo off. Oh. oh, it's all gone. They're all gone. Oh, dear, what's happened here? Let's see if we can catch another Pirelli replay. What's happened here? So as they come over the rise on Conrad straight now, into the chase. This is at over 260, 270 kilometers an hour. What's happened? Dick's gone real deep. Is Dick fired on the side of Mo? He has Dick's in the Mo. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh no, huge drama. And meanwhile, V8 goes, I'm in 10th. How about that? How'd <laughs> <laughs> no, that happen? <laughs> Take that. Uh, meanwhile, Blitz is now, oh, sorry, uh, Zeus has now got himself into P6. Here he comes. Just jumped uh, Knuckles as well. Here he comes. He's on the trail, he's on Ricky Bobby now as well. So he's on the move. On board the Trofeo Lamborghini now. Didn't have a great qualifying by his standards, but look at this, he is absolutely flying through this field. Oh, look at him catch Ricky Bobby. Oh no, he's not gonna, oh, I thought he, jeez. Oh. <laughs> not the pace to have a go. Oh, wow. Back up the front now. This gap is not going away between these four. These four are absolutely trading blows here. Terry with the fastest lap of a two minute, one, four, five. Of course he did. Yeah, Cyborg did a two minute three. Scotty did a two minute, one, five, four. And Warner did a two minute two. On board with the Cyborg now. He's just following Terry here. Doesn't look like he wants to pass. He's going to force Terry to use a bit more fuel. Oh, he is too. Oh, Terry's oh, sideways. Terry. Look at Brock. Yeah, there was an opportunity there. There was a definite opportunity there. <laughs> I love this thing covering. But all this is doing, though, is slowing them down. Look at Zeus. He's just grabbed Ricky Bobby. He's on the way, guys. Here he comes. Here he comes. This has been a storming drive. He's only three seconds off the back of Wardo. I'll call it now in three laps time. Zeus is going to be on the back of these guys. He's in clear air now too, so he's going to be able to make up some time very quickly. And Cyborg really puts the pressure on Terry up through turn four on the up the hill here, looking to the cutting. Oh, look at this. No, oh, Scotty again sideways. <laughs> Slide into the fence there again. Just, just a little tire tap. She'll be right. On board with the Revolution Satellite Racer now. So come through Breed. Down towards McPhillamy. Slide scraping the wall. <laughs> this is high intensity.
These two. Oh, Scotty! Oh, oh, huge moment! Oh, he's going to the back of Warno! Oh, we have to catch it on our Pirelli replay. What's happened there? On board with Scotty now as he comes through the S's. He's right out sideways at the. Wow! Clobbers the wall twice, does a chaz virtually, and Warno just had nowhere to go. Zeus is now 2.7 seconds in closing. Oh, look at Wardo. Look at Wardo here. Wardo's got around the outside. Oh, there's a big touch. Oh, they're side by side into the chase. Oh, wow, we. That is crazy good. Oh, Pirelli replay again. Look at this. This is the fastest corner in Australian motorsport. They are so... Oh, oh, there was an overlap there. We'll keep an eye on that. They're having another going to Murray's now. Into hell corner now as well. Side by side again. The way Wardo's well, had enough of this. Yep. He's had he, enough of this. He very wants to get so. But it's they right, have washed so. off 3.4 seconds to Brocky in a matter of three Look quarters. He's gonna fire this super him. straight He's up the inside. He's had enough of this. Wardo's normally a very calm racer, but when he gets angry, watch out. Now it's on to Scotty here. Can he hang on to the back? He's got plenty of car under him still. This Corvette's a very quick package. He's now to refocus, resettle. Just use the TMA Toyota as a bit of a punch through the air for a couple of laps, I think. Scotty's got to be careful because there's a big, bright yellow Lamborghini coming. And he's bringing friends too. He's got yep. Ricky Bobby, Knuckles, Jazz Balls all with him. Oh, this is about to get real spicy. Back up the front though, look at this battle. <laughs> They're still going at it. Terry touches the wall again on the run down the hill. Oh, this is Foreman Ali. Oh, oh Terry's no! in the wall! Oh, oh Brocky called the back of him! Oh, you're joking oh, me! No. That's massive drama! Oh, oh let's I catch that on our Pirelli replay. Oh, that could have been huge. There's, How... damage. There's massive damage on the front of Rocky's car. Oh, wow! Can massive! Can the slipstream? We will get a tire and fuel update as quickly as we can, ladies and gentlemen, but the action is just not stopping at the moment. All right, cars need to have settled. All right, cars have settled. The floor is yours. All righty, so... <coughs> Terry is just under half a tank of fuel. Tires are about as worn as you'd expect up to seven laps of the mountain. Not too bad. The Cyborg is slightly better off on fuel than the Mercedes. It's probably because of the tow. His tyres are about the same again. Wardo is about the same as the Cyborg. Again, tyres are a little bit worse off. Uh, Scotty's car starting to hurt a little bit now. The tyres are a bit more, more worn again, and he's used a little bit more fuel, about a third of the tank left over. Uh, Zeus with a third of the tank. Better tyres than the Corvette in front of him. Ricky Bobby, third of the tank. Decent tyres. Knuckles is just under half. So it's pretty good fuel safe in the Lexus again. Tyres are too bad. And Gazballs is just about between a third and half a tank. And uh, all tyres look good except for the right rear, which is starting to hurt a little bit on the, on the big Audi. Wow. Oh, Terry's oh, in the wall. The again. Oh, look at Brocky here at McPhillamy. He's, He's all over him. Brocky's look at this. Morse code's going on here, guys. I think Cyborg's had enough of this now. He doesn't want to get caught up anymore. Let's go, he says. Oh, this is on between these two. <laughs> Love it, Scooter. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Big slide out of the elbow yeah. for, for the sidewalk there. Tell you what, Scotty hasn't fallen off the back of Wardo all yet. Wardo's only He's tucked in there nice. Wardo's only three seconds behind. He's just got to get some nice, consistent laps. They caught up a big chunk when those guys basically went stationary out of the elbow that lap. I'm really impressed with this train behind Zeus. Yep. <laughs> so look at this here. We've got Zeus, we've got Ricky Bobby, Knuckles and Gas Balls. Four different manufacturers, four different teams. Zeus is in. Zeus is first to blink. That's a 24 minutes. Oh, 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 oh Zeus! Oh, Zeus has done a massive moment in the pits! Oh, he's done a Warno! 
He's done a Wardo! Oh dear, oh dear. Wardo went off Murray's corner. Oh, Wardo's gone as well. What's happened here? Huge drama. Let's check that out on our Pirelli replay. Oh, Wardo slid off. Oh, wow. The race has gone off. That's brought Ricky Bobby back into this. He's going to have a look at Scotty on the run up the hill. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Thank Bobby's in. No, Scotty's backing up. Scotty's rejecting. Oh, there's been a touch. He must have him. Ricky Bobby's in oh, third. Great sportsmanship. Great sportsmanship, Bobby. but Ricky Bobby's in third. Oh, you can't script this stuff. All right, these guys are going to go at it again. And there's our Wardo's on sparring button and Knuckles in the background as well now. These guys have got together a couple times this season already. Oh, what a wild pack this is. So we've got <laughs> Wardo, Scotty and Knuckles. Uh, Gazmore's has pitted in too. He came out in front of uh, Zeus. Oh, wow. So Gaz is, Gaz is up to something here. Yeah, he's going to try and grab these guys as they come back out. Tell you what, Ricky Bobby's in it. See you guys, I'm off. And just 1.1 seconds, away he goes. See you later. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, the cyborg and, and Tarmac Terry are still 0.4 of a second apart. No Track winch. blows flat after lap after lap. No winch given here. And I reckon Brocky will shade him in as well. Sorry there, ladies and gentlemen. Need a quick drink because we're 22. Oh, okay. Terry's in. Terry's, Terry's in. Terry's in. Cyborg's not. Wow. Is... He's not doing. Can I get a fuel update on Brocky there, please? Ah, uh, Scotty's just got in as well. Just double checking where yep. that's all going on there. Auto's wide through. <laughs> Murray's again. Okay, so fuel check on the cyborg. He's just touched a quarter of a tank. So he doesn't have enough to go. Oh, Ooh, he might. He could, he, might. he could one stop it. If he does, that's game over. Ricky Bobby went around again too, just to. So did Wardo. So did Knuckles. Terry's come back out. Uh, 2.2 seconds clear. Mo has a pit. Zeus is oh, a long way further back. 10 seconds back. I tell you what, though, I expect qualifying laps from Terry here. These are going to be some of the fastest laps you have ever seen. So Zeus in seventh, of course he is. <laughs> With gas balls in eighth. Now this is interesting. I expected a bit more out of these two around Bathurst. Keep an eye on them though. We will keep an eye on them though. I think they I think they've got a, a, a shot in the chamber for later in the race. Definitely running an alternate strategy here. So Scotty now in ninth, he's come in. Sideways again. DJ there in tenth. V8 and 11th, who's got dick all over him here. That's interesting because... One second, side it's good, Doctor. They're going to go side by side. The, oh, wow. They went <laughs> side by side under the tree. Are you kidding me? Way to go, fellas. I love it. Um, Scotty's come out behind those balls and Zeus. Wow. Interestingly. Scotty's gone for a full tank. I don't think he's going to stop again. That's interesting. I think he's going to just throw the dice at a run stop. Can Scotty but make tyres last 20 minutes? Uh, on a Corvette. <laughs> the way he drives. <laughs> Brock is right, in. The so Cyborg's in. Ricky, Ricky Bobby's, Bobby's in. in. Wardo's in. Knuckles goes round again. Wow, the fuel saver on the Lexus here. He yeah, is definitely got, one stopping. He's still got a quarter of a tank on board. He's going all right there for fuel. Wardo with a fuel save on, on the Cyborg as well. So he's going to make up a little bit of time here. Ricky Bowie's going to lose out here, unfortunately. He's uh, he's been awful. Look at the two Supras, 14 and 14. Identical fuel usage for the two Supras. So Tarmac now, in the second, he's got four seconds. So Brocky, well, let's have a look at Brocky here. So he's lost four seconds there. Now, is he full fuel? Uh, no. He put more Ooh. fuel than Terry did, though. He's through the three quarters. Terry's just on half a tank now, after one lap. Wardo is filled the same as Terry. He's got Zeus on his back bumper, so this is where this net gain is for Zeus. Oh, Wardo's going to be feeling the pressure here. So he's got Zeus, so Ricky Bobby, and Gaz all behind him, and Scott is coming. Oh. 
Auto's just got to get his head down now. It's easier said than done though. We're up here in the box and yeah. you've got a yeah, GT well to a driver right behind you. <laughs> oh, and just to put a, a finer point on there, Zeus just goes purple through sector two. Wow. Look at the attitude of the Lamborghini out of the dip. Oh, just scrapes the wall there. But he's not close enough because the Super now will unleash its party trick. Ricky Bobby's in on this too though, guys. He's just uh, tucked himself in behind the Super, uh, behind the uh, Lamborghini again. Very impressive drive from Ricky Bobby. I expect Knuckles in this lap. That's a big fuel save from Knuckles. I'll tell you what, he if goes. he's one stopping as well. He'll be here at the end of the race. He'll yep. get a comfortably one stop from here. And be able to have good pace for the rest of the race. So I expect to see him at the end of the race, barring any incidents. Do you know, at St. Carl, though, he had that big incident right at the very end of the Indeed. race. Hopefully this time it doesn't happen. So he just goes fastest with the two minute point one at two one there. So oh. fast up the race. Oh, auto wide on exit there. So let's recap now all the stops of cleanse. Terry in the lead, 4.1 seconds to the good from Rocky. Who's got 5.7 seconds over Wardo. Who's got absolutely nothing over Zeus. Zeus is all over him here. I've said it before, catching Bordo is one thing, getting past is a whole different ball game. Wow, he's just so mighty under brakes. Ricky Bobby in fifth. Me, yep. Six is Gaz. So the two alternate strategies from Gaz and Zeus are just starting to come to fruition now. Scotty in Ooh. seventh. Knuckles in eighth. That's a nice spot for Knuckles to drop out in. That's a very nice spot to drop out in. Oh, no, not there, Ricky, not there. Oh. Ricky Bobby had a big look at Zeus over the over skyline. Oh, Zeus is really loose. Oh, boy. Ricky Bobby, they're going to go so far. Oh, 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 Zeus is Still loose again. again. How does he pull that up? Oh, that was huge. Ricky's oh, got a good run here. This is a mega run for Ricky here. We'll just get a, catch a quick replay there. The good dog will keep us informed. Oh, look at this! Look at this! He's right on his back, but this oh, is a wow. game between these two! I've never seen two race guys that close together before. Is he going to go for the move? We know the Hyundai's got enormous brakes, but Zeus is just mighty on the anchors. Look at gas balls. He's sticking his nose in this now, guys. Look at these three. They are nose to tail. You cannot cover them. There's li literally point bugger all in that. <laughs> point bugger all. I love it. <laughs> what this is doing? You see in the background there? Yeah, Scotty's catching. There is a yellow Corvette coming, and we know Scotty is not afraid of anyone. <laughs> and if Scotty has to stop again, it'll literally be for a splash. So he's going to be in and out very wow. quickly. Look at Ricky Bobby here. This is incredible racing. Wow. Just soak it in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best GT Sport racing in Australia, bar none. Oh, just quietly there too, by the way, guys. Um, <coughs> Cyborg does a 159.776 to go fastest overall. Oh. Terry does a 159.805 to go second fastest overall. Wow. And Terry Purple Sector Sector 2 there on his current lap. Look at Ricky Bobby, you just feel it. It's, he's waiting for his moment. He's got to be a bit careful too because if he sticks it out too far, Gazwell's going to ram it down yep. the inside. Check it back in with our leader now. He's 3.9 seconds to the good. So Brock is just starting to chomp a bit of time out of him here. It's not a lot. Oh. We'll be interesting to see how long they both have to stop for in their final stop. Wardo looks nice and comfortable in third now. He's just got back into his rhythm. Uh, 
for you guys here watching fuel loads. Uh, Ricky Bobby is on a just over a third of a tank. Zeus is just oh, about oh, oh, an eighth of a tank of fuel. He's about to hit the light. He'd probably get one more lap in him if he goes around again. Huh, he's which in. he doesn't. In he goes. He's watching the mirror too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that releases Ricky Bobby now. Now. These next couple of laps for Ricky Bobby have to be absolutely inch perfect. I know he's fuel saving, but he's got to cover Zeus off here. He has to. Ricky, Ricky just did his fastest lap of the race there with a 2 minute point nine there while in the battle pack. It's a nice lap. So I just want to see. So Knuckles there has just slowly worked his way up to seventh here. This is the guy to watch. Uh, Zeus has popped out in ninth, guys. Three quarters of the tank fueled to the end. If my numbers are correct here, I'll tell you what, Knuckles is on for fourth, maybe third. If Wardo has to stop again. Wardo's going to stop again. Yep, yeah, Knuckles is on for maybe a podium here. Knuckles is by far the best fuel in the top from, from seventh and up. He's. He's, more, he's got just about the same amount of fuel in him as Zeus does now. And Zeus has already stopped again. And he is... Oh, 1.7, 35, 5 seconds further down the road than Zeus is. So this is a really good strategy from Knuckles so far. We've seen this from him before. He is... He's got that... Yeah. Go ahead, sir. He's got, <laughs> he's got that really tough situation now, though, where he's... 7.9 seconds behind Scotty and 2 seconds in front of DJ Brain. So it's sort of about no man's land. So he's got no one to base his pace off. So he's going to be really careful not to overdrive. Yep. He wants to save himself a little bit of tyre. To quote my man Scafe again, a little bit of goodness. So he's got something to fight with at the end. Because Oh, Terry's in. Tarmax in. in. Big stop. This is a big stop. So Rocky now will assume the lead. Now he... Ate Rocky was three seconds behind here. He really needs he had, to fly now. Rocky's got a massive fuel advantage on Terry as well, though, yeah. so I reckon that okay. game will close up okay. as, as Rocky goes through the pits. Well, look at the fuel of Scotty. So he's coming for a short... Oh, this is clever. Yeah, I like this. Dash. I like this. So Knuckles so, now. So he's going to give to Knuckles. Where's Knuckles? Where's Knuckles? Where's Knuckles? Just, Knuckles is just exiting the straight now. He's going through Murray's corner yeah, now. Yeah, through Murray's now. Third corner. Hill corner. Hill corner, corner that's corner, right. Mountain straight. We know He's what we're talking about. He's done it easy. He's done it very easily. Oh, Knuckles. What a master stroke. He's five seconds down the road. So Look at this, star. though. Look at this between Scotty Gasbols and Zeus. <laughs> Three of the most wild operators you'll ever see. And they are going to go. go tires. Oh, Zeus fires it up the inside of Gas. On board with Scotty now and the Switchblade vet. He's got Zeus behind him in the Trofeo Lamborghini, followed by the Frontier Audi of Gas Balls. Oh, Scotty's weak on the tail of that corner, trying to get some heat in those tyres. I'll tell you what, if Scotty can hold these two off, that's a huge result. So, Ricky Bobby, we know he has to stop again. Ricky Bobby has to stop, Ward has to stop, Brocky has yep. to stop. So Terry's effectively. He's 15 lead seconds of the race off the lead. At the moment. It's going to be tight the sidewalk. So as we know, G2 took the transit time out of pits now, so you're in, you're out pretty quick these days. It used to be a 20, what was it, 22 second yep. outside transit? I'm going to keep an eye on Knuckles here. He's currently 25 seconds off the lead. Sidewalk goes around again. Wardo's in. Auto's in, that's Ricky the stop. This is the stop. I'll right. keep an eye on Knuckles. Knuckles now, I've coming through Auto. the chase complex. Jumping on board Auto's the Lucky Lawn Care Lexus. He's used a bit of fuel this time, Auto. Battling with Scotty in that stint's really hurt the car a bit. Tires are on, car's down, fuel's in. Knuckles now, he's about to cross the start finish line. This is going to be extremely him. close. If Knuckles he's gonna get him, he's he gonna get him in. Wardo's out. Here comes Wardo. Here comes Wardo. It's going to be extremely close. It. Oh, he's... Wardo. He's oh, out. Knuckles. Just. Knuckles had a moment. The car stopped. Oh, no. Oh, oh. No, no, no. It's bounced back. Oh, that could have been huge. I did hear that. 
very Oh, look at this battle! This is on! <laughs> Scotty now goes past Ricky Who's Bobby! Zeus is gonna have a go as well! Oh, the side by side in the Griffiths bed! Oh, that all worked out somehow. Somehow. What this does do though is Ricky Bobby's gonna have a nice fresh car underneath. He's gonna be all over Zeus again. He's probably sick of the side of that Lamborghini though. Oh wow, Terry's just got purple again through sector two, point one seven seven fastest lap. What a battle here for fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I'll tell you what though. Oh, geez. Scotty with a big slide again. Far out, Scotty. <laughs> Those times getting to the end, remember, mate? You gotta, you gotta look after him a bit. Tell you what, the battle between Knuckles and Water are hot up too, I think. Knuckles' is car's at speed. As okay, the cyborg's in. Okay, big stop here. Terry's through the chase now. Alright. Cyborg's car's up. Wheels on. Down. Fuel in. He's getting close here. Very close. Time act now. Crosses the start finish line. To be very close. Towards Hell Corner. I think Terry's got him. Has Terry got him? Now. Terry's got him. got him. He's got him. He's got him easily. Easily. Oh, shut the gate. Two seconds. Here's your race, ladies and gentlemen. So the top four look pretty comfortable at the moment. This battle is definitely not over. Oh, Gaz. Oh, he has. Gaz has got him. Probably replay coming up to see if we can catch what happened. Yeah, so he missed that. So Ricky Bobby's had a massive issue. Must have been in the chase complex. He's right on the back of Gaz now. Oh, Scotty again! Oh, wow! <laughs> How does he do that? I tell you what, though, he is legitimately holding off Zeus here. He's doing a good job. Very good job. He'd be, he'd be P4 if it wasn't for Knuckles with that insanely good strategy. Just having a look at the gap, he's catching Knuckles. Knuckles' car is going to start to drop off shortly too though, because it's good yep. for fuel, but the tyres are going to get very old very quick. Well, so, Scotty's tyres won't be great. <laughs> Zeus's might be alright though. Oh, they can't be stopped! <laughs> Just of course, for the team's championship, I don't have the numbers in front of me at the moment, but this is huge. Black light. You're looking pretty good at the moment, oh, actually. Looking oh, look here, hang on. Before we get to that, Zeus is going to go around the outside of the chase. Has he pulled that off? Oh, you are joking. You Ricky are Bobby's joking. Well. He's trying around the outside of Gazmoles at the chase. He goes around the outside of him as well. Oh, Gets well. Done. Two back. We're going to check this out on replay from Zeus. I couldn't get both at the same time. Zeus, on the inside of the fastest corner of Australian motorsport, they just goes right around the outside. Unbelievable. What a move. Bridge just uh, jumped in the chat too. This actual battle for uh, between Zeus and Scotty's for points in the team's championship between Trofeo and Switchblade as well. So there's big implications here. So back to our point though. Blacklight and Frontier were, Frontier were 100 points ahead of Black... Oh, hang on. Look at Scotty. Oh, he's giving a little love tap to Zeus there as well. Whoa, here we go. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Brent reckons Frontier has this in the bag. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Don't know, where's... Hijack is 12th, Moe's 9th, Gazballs is 8th, Wardo's 3rd. Look at the lead! Look at the lead! It's on! It's on Oh, the here we go! Oh, wow! So that gap is there? absolutely diminished now! That was, that was two seconds! That was two seconds at the start of this lap. Something massive's happened to Terry. Looking for witness marks on the paint. Yeah, massive damage to the front end. Oh, wow. The right hand corner's got a big hit coming down the mountain somewhere. Just this is on for the lead now. 
just as we thought that Terry was going to walk away from this. It's now back on. This is going to go down to the final flag. We've got 4 minutes 30 remaining. Look at Brock. He's look in the slipstream. He's, he's in the slipstream. Oh, Terry covers. Oh, he goes around the outside. There's a huge touch. Brock, he's gone. Brock, he's gone. Oh, I've lost my voice. I can't contain the excitement. Oh, that's huge drama. Oh, Pirelli replay coming up. Unbelievable. Oh dear. What has happened here? Oh, 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 wow. Oh, that's going to be interesting. I think that's play on for mine. It looked pretty even. That was... Cyborg had to do that too. He had to, to try to take advantage of that situation. He did. He probably knows he's got the championship locked up, but geez, that could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah, backwards into the sand, it's not a good spot to be down there, bottom of the, uh, bottom of the con rod there. Water just goes faster through the first sector, by the way, guys, just, just quietly. He's probably hoping those two up front are get into each other and uh, he might be able to just sneak a cheeky little win here. <laughs> that was it. I'll tell you what, Scott is catching here. This is bit He's going Zeus, sorry. Zeus is so about... Knuckles' car is starting to run out of tyres now. So he's going to start backing up to these two boys behind him. It's going to be all on him now for the next three minutes and seven seconds to try and keep fourth position, which is well earned. But these two guys behind him have got much healthier cars and they're very, very fast. On board with the Trofeo Lamborghini now as they come up towards Skyline. Let's see the chunk. Look at that chunk. He is chunking time. Oh, Scotty just hangs on to it. Look at Ricky Bobby's back with him again. They've dropped gas, but Scotty sideways again. Oh. <laughs> Ricky Bobby's on him. On the run down the hill, Ricky Bobby's right on him here. Oh, Scotty sideways out of the elbow. He braked early and hard, and he set himself up to punch out of the elbow. I think instead of saying Scotty's sideways, we say Scotty's uh, normally driving normally out of the elbow for him. Look at this, back on board with Zeus though, because look at this, Zeus is definitely catching, it's under a second now. Oh yeah, they've got Knuckles closing in quickly on Knuckles, Knuckles has got, oh, oh, it'll be one more lap, this will be the this will be the last lap coming up. Oh wow, so this is it, can Zeus catch Knuckles and pass him, this is the big one. <laughs> Tell you what, Cyborg's got within a second of Terry again. Oh, this and might... they might have to go round again yet, these two. They will, I think they will. This might not be over yet. We'll just keep an eye on that. Wardo will finish in third. All right, this is everything for Zeus now. He's on the fuel light. He's got a light car. He's going to have to throw everything at it. Look at him flashing the lights. He's flashing Ricky the lights Bobby. again. Ricky Bobby, he's got heaps of fuel in the Hyundai so He's going to grab these guys when they're trying to save. Oh, look at this, Alexis is sideways, Zeus is all over him oh, now! No. Oh no, Rick! Knuckles has had another moment on the last lap, are you kidding me? It's happened twice in one, twice in two rounds. Yeah, that makes Stick sense. Into it, Knuckles. Stick into it, Knuckles, stay on him. He's got to keep the boot into it. Ricky Bobby sitting here with bucket loads of fuel on the hunt to go, come on guys, push, push, push. Ricky Bobby could do another two laps, I reckon. He's got heaps of fuel. Check in with Ricky Bobby now. Let's Look at jump. the lead! Look at the lead, it's on! Point oh, three here we go! It's gonna go down to a here final lap shootout! We've seen this script before, we've seen this story before! Oh, oh I thought Ricky Bobby's never looked coming down the hill then on Scotty. Scotty sideways through the, through the elbow. 30 seconds remaining. Are they going to get around for one more lap? If they do, we are going to have a grandstand finish for AGT's biggest race. They're going to go again. They're going to go again. Here we go. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. It's they're going to go again. They're going to go again. Here we go. Yeah, it's go on. One go. more lap to settle it. Mano a mano, the best of the best. I'll oh, get the good oh, dunk. Why is that a big problem? Why is that a huge oh, problem? He's using fuel. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, Zeus is going to get him here. This is huge, Kamuto. Hold on, he does. Wano in third, Zeus in fourth, oh, Knuckles in fifth, Ricky Bobby in sixth, seventh is Scotty, eighth will be Gasmals. 
But back out to the lane, because Brocky's going for it. He's going to go around the outside of Griffith's bend. No, he's not. He pulls it back in. Jumping on board with the CP Racer now. He's got Tarmac Terry in front of him from Revolution Satellite. They've got 6.2 kilometers to themselves. Oh, Brocky oh, sideways oh, out of the cutting. Yeah, he held onto that. That is car control and a half. Terry's car is on, the very, on, a, on a severe fuel light. Brocky's car's not even got the light on yet. So Terry might be fuel saving. He's trying to hold on. This is Wing Cup Chas Mostadesk. They come over Terry Skyline Kennedy. for the not final there, time. Fuel light just come on the Mercedes. Back Terry's on board now. For fuel now. Is he going to have a look at the elbow? Is he going to set him up for a run? Down Conrad straight. He, he is. It He's it looking up. it up. Here it is. Point He's in the toe now. Here we go. They're going to do it at over 260 kilometers an hour. There is a car just in front lap traffic, but it shouldn't be a problem. He's in the toe. This is it. He's going for it. He's, got, he's close now. He's very close. One he's going to try the move again. They're going to go side by side. Through the chase. There's another touch. There's another touch. Oh, they're going to get through. I think Terry's going to hold on. He will. What a race. Unbelievable performance from these two. Oh, I don't know. Terry's car's coffin. It's almost out of fuel. Oh, is Brocky going to go? Right? the outside as well. Terry's going to cover. Surely he's not going to do that. Really Terry's going to hold on. He's going to win this thing. What a race. Unbelievable. Brocky wins the championship. Terry wins the last race. Wow. Oh. That is incredible stuff. Thank you very much, guys. What a race. Holy moly. That was incredible. Stunning. Amazing. Congratulations to Terry. Gets the race win with one of the best races we have ever seen in AGT online. Recapping our race results there. Terry in first. Brocky in second and claims the inaugural AGT online championship. Review pending, of course. Third is Wardo. Fourth is Zeus. Fifth is Knuckles. Ricky Bobby in sixth. Seventh is Scotty. Eighth is Gazballs. Ninth is Mo. Tenth is DJ. Eleventh is Deck. Twelfth is Hijacker. Thirteenth is V8. Fourteenth is Blitz. The fastest lap did go to Brocky with a 159.776 on lap 11. Wow, we that is AGT online group A run and done. Oh, how's your heart rate? <clears throat> Just give me a moment there. <laughs> wow, incredible, absolutely incredible. <clears throat> oh, looks like is that out on this track at the moment? Let's double check. Look, it might be Cyborg doing some donuts. Oh, won't be a moment. No, it's oh. Scotty. No, it's Scotty. Never mind. Of course, <laughs> of course it's Scotty. <laughs> Scotty spinning the Corvette round in circles. Wow. 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 I'm just taking a breath, ladies and gentlemen. Just taking a breath. <sighs> That was one of the best races we have ever seen here at AGT Online. Incredible performance. I am trying to see if I can get a couple of people in the box for a quick chat. They might be still celebrating. <laughs> I think uh, Mr V8's pretty happy with the, the fact that that's his last ever drive with the McLaren he's probably going to leave it at the top of the mountain for someone to torch if anyone wants a cheap McLaren go see uh, Revolution. Revolution here he is here he is congratulations, you, mate. congratulations mate thank you joining us in the box is, the box is your inaugural AGT online champion, Brocky, and also joining us in the box is your inaugural FYRC Porsche Super Cup champion, Dan the Man. Good evening, gentlemen. How you doing? <laughs> wow, for someone who's just won his third championship, you sound uh, really excited. How's yeah, oh, well, <laughs> did a bit better than I expected, to be honest. Just from everyone watching and us commentating, thank you for that final lap. That was incredible. 
Yeah, I was uh, lucky to get back on the back of him um, in the last few laps, but um, yeah, that the car was just hooked up. I knew I, I watched his fuel load, Terry's fuel load, when he hit his last stop, and I saw how much he put in, and I knew that he would have to save to make the rest of the race distance. And um, I had enough fuel, so. Excellent, great, Excellent stuff there. great stuff there. Are you with us there, Dan? He's probably still celebrating. Um, wow, what an incredible way to finish the season. Three-time champ, mate. How's it feel? Yeah, really good. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, um, the season has not been that easy. I mean, anyone who's trying out the Lewis Hamilton thing can see what this car can, is like without a tune in it. But it just worked everywhere. It was all right. It was um, just stayed out of trouble, stayed clean, and the results came to me. Excellent. That's what we want to hear. Favourite race of the season? Um... I, well, it's going to have to be, I can't even remember the name of the track now, um, Sardinia, I, purely I, because, I, purely, be, I didn't win it, but purely because with no intention of being anywhere near first place, um, I managed to be challenging for first and made some great passes in the last couple of laps. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. And any, uh, any sort of whispers you can give us what you're up to next season? Uh, not completely sure. Um, I am looking at jumping into iRacing a bit in the off-season, um, just to have a break away from GT Sports. But, um, yeah, look, I'll see what offers come up and... and I'm sure there'll be an announcement of where I'm going to be situated. So you heard that first, there, team owners, get your checkbooks, checkbooks out. Excellent, that's great. Any questions, Ed Lewis? You've gone quiet. I was just oh, muted my mic there and just had a bit of a listen. <laughs> uh, great job there, Rocky. Uh, yeah, you really hung out the line there at the end between yourself and uh, Terry. Good to see you boys uh, really taking it to the very end of the season. Every, every race for, for three seasons, yep. three seasons straight, it's been down to the last round for three seasons. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can't, you can't be disappointed with that. I mean, I, I reckon Terry's probably one of, if not the fastest in Australia when it comes to GT sports. So to be able to compete that closely with him is, that puts a smile on my face. Great start, yeah. Now, I know Dan's in here. I don't know if he can hear us or he's got his mic mute. He is in here with us, eh? So we'll just pretend he's here. How's your season, Dan? Yeah, really good. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's good, Dan. <laughs> All right, so we've got... Chat is definitely lit up here. Let's have a look here. So Troy says there's a bonfire at his joint. Uh, McLaren Firewood. Uh, Gavin says, great races, gentlemen. Awesome stuff. Driver of the day, 321 Knuckles, Ricky and Zeus. Ooh, driver of the day. We better get into that. Mine goes to Zeus. Uh, that qualifying, he had an absolute shock of qualifying, and he absolutely drove through the field. Um, special shout-outs go to Scotty for once again. One-man highlight reel. Um, and, of course, the two drivers up front for really providing... One of the best of the races, races we have races seen. seen. Yourself, Lucas, driver of the day? Uh, I only have Ricky Bobby. Rick, oh, yeah, nice choice. Right up there the whole race and put up with a lot of pressure from from some of the uh, more highly favoured names of the of the group tonight. And, yeah, uh, I'd agree with that. Yeah, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zeus for the whole race was excellent. And again, too, very, at the very end, he had the fuel to, to get around those guys. If those guys had been a little bit tighter up and had to go around again, he would have got all of them. Uh, just a quick thing there between Brent and Captain. Could you just save that chat for Discord, please? Um, 
What else have we got there? D, come and get your merch. CP, double chance of season. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> so, I saw a thing today. So, Vin Diesel apparently is playing Dan the Man in the movie. Who's playing you, Brocky? Um, I'm not that bad at acting, so... Oh! <laughs> Not only is he a fast driver, he considers himself a bit of a, a bit of a big screen heartbreaker as well. Love it. <laughs> Excellent. I understand that, Captain, but it's not the place. Uh, Dynamite Racing. Congrats to everyone, both in gr both Group A groups. Huge season. Yeah, couldn't agree more. It's been really great season. Excellent racing from. The Porsche Super Cup and also AGT Online. You got a favourite race from Group A there, Lucas? Oh, tonight sort of uh, jumps right up there in the front of my brain at the moment. Yeah, I'd say tonight for AGT Online is definitely my favourite. Um, oh, for FYRC Group A, ooh. Oh, that's a tough one, actually. I'll have to come back to you on that one because I remember Dragon Trail was pretty good. Um, what was the other one we went to? Sardinia, I remember Sardinia was good too. So They've had a great season, both categories, which is awesome. Uh, Jim Bob wants to know, can you get a signed poster, please? I believe Rocky does charge as well. A close up channel? A clo oh. <laughs> Posted on calendar. It is 8.59, just letting you know. <laughs> uh, what have we got there? Also, uh, John Winters, fantastic racing. Well done to all the drivers. Thank you there. Uh, <laughs> Black Dynamite says Sardinia because he won. Uh, Troy says Red Bull Ring. Yeah, true. Red Bull Ring was very good. Yeah, 100% correct. Especially in the rain as well, so. So, but of course, that is not it. We do have one more round to go for AGC Online and FYRC Porsche Super Cup. That'll be Group B. They will finish us out. Um, which, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fantastic. We know Group B. There's no championships for those guys, so there's going to be some sending. Um, Jacob, FYRC, best race was St. Croix in Sardinia. Scotty, Sliding Scotty says, when do the Brocky Champion t-shirts come out? Oh, God. Uh, Mr. Brent says, RBR on the wet was an instant classic. Agreed, was a great race. Hijacker says, Nürburgring GP. All right, we'll just call it the whole season. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good season. It was a good season. It was a hard season for a lot of people, you know, first time in these cars, a lot of people really struggling to come to grips with it. Um, a few of us team, a few of the teams, including us, got a, a pretty good pick for an all-rounder. Um, you know, I feel for some of the other guys, they really should have been closer to the front um, in the right vehicles. Mm -hmm. Just, just on that, actually, without releasing too much information early. We have done a lot of work behind the scenes for next season when it comes to uh, fair picks for everybody. So watch this space, guys, because it's probably going to be a lot better for next season. There you go. Ooh. I like that. Uh, Scotty, how long is the off-season? Uh, we'll probably cover that off next week, Scotty. Or in the just as usual, stay tuned to our social media, Discord, Facebook for all that. Um, we will, of course, keep you updated. We're looking to do maybe a couple of off-season streams as well. One for you viewers, who are absolutely awesome, but also you guys that want to race as well. Uh, but as always, watch your space. But other than that, I might start to wrap it up. Uh, any final thoughts there to our chair? Yeah. Um, big good luck to uh, all the Group B boys next week. I think the team champ... Uh, championship is still on the line until that round is over. So um, there's a, like, three or four teams in contention there. And, um, yeah, thank you for yourself, Lucas, and V8 for all your 
streaming and, and commentating throughout the season. It's been fantastic. I definitely a class above last season. Like everything's been pretty spot on this season, so oh, thank you. What a guy. Lucas, you're next, mate. Anything you want to say? Oh, yeah, also, no, just, uh... before you do, I also want to hear your favourite McDonald's snack. <laughs> I knew that was going to come sooner or later. My, my favourite snack? Oh, both of oh, oh, Mine would be altered caramel frappe. Ooh, I like Mozzarella that. sticks are nice. <laughs> I like it. I'm uh, uh, a coffee just, frappe, uh... by the way. <laughs> Big shout out to the Group A boys for both FYRC and AGT this season. Uh... Just from the start of the season onwards, the guys have just constantly improved, and we've seen, as we've seen tonight, with the the group was really, really tight together for most of the race. Uh, it was all the way back to eighth to ninth position was right in in with a shot for being on the podium, which is something we haven't seen for a couple of seasons, which is really good to see, especially with the cars with this bouncing issue we've had with the BAP this season. So uh, awesome to see the guys get up, especially the, the guys with the mid-mounted cars. Uh, looking at Frontier there as well, especially. They've guys have been really, really on the improve all season, so great job, guys. Uh, to yourself, Cyborg, great season. Uh, awesome to see you jump back up there and take another one, mate, three times. That's, that's massive. Uh, to Terry, took it to you all season again. You guys are going hammer and tongs every race. Uh, even when he had a rough race there in the rain, he still managed to catch himself up. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we uh, bring it up bigger and better again next season. But uh, we'll go on to the Group B boys first. Awesome. Well, look at it here. I just want to clean up. Got the uh, McDonald's chat has actually gone off. Uh, chicken and cheese for Betty. Eminem McFlurry for Shainsky. Zoe says the mozzarella sticks. Harry CBR says the double quarter pounder and D with the coffee frappe. D, mate, that's why we get along. I knew we got along for a reason. All right, so let's wrap it up. A huge thank you goes to every single Group A race director this season for FYRC and AGT Online. Massive thank you. These races don't happen without our race directors, so a big thank you. A uh, huge thank you goes to... Well, actually, it's a real heartfelt thank you to the good doctor. Um, he is my main man in the box. Um, love calling races with him. It's been an absolute pleasure all season. Uh, I reckon we've definitely stepped it up another little. Thank you to everyone who has joined us in the box as well over the whole season as well. Thank you, Brocky. Congratulations again, Matt, on your championship. You viewers, yous are amazing. All season, especially in Group A, the chat's been incredible. It has not stopped. The viewer numbers have been really good. I do love the fact that a lot of you have come across to YouTube as well. So a massive thank you to everyone here at AGT Online for that. Massive effort. Well done, guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. But other than that, be sure to join us next Sunday from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time for the final race of the season. It's going to be Group B. AGT Online, FYRC Porsche Super Cup. We may have an AGT Online Teams Championship still to unfold, but of course we will keep you up to date with that. But that it, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Have a fantastic week. And other than that, this is Sean, aka Ghost, signing off for now. And as always, you've been watching AGT Online, powered by Thrill House. <laughs>